Hi, I'd like to show you today how easy it is to draw a buffer zone uh, on Google Earth based on a polygonal line uh, or point. So, to start, just click on uh, the polygon icon, for example. Uh, let's give it a name, polygon. Uh, then, uh, we just need to draw the polygon. We can change the style if you're not happy with the current settings. I'm happy with it, so just click on OK. Then you just have to save your polygon uh, let's say on your desktop. OK, from there you gotta go on this website there, so you can access it by clicking on the on the link uh, below uh, this video. Uh, pick any option, uh, the option that you need, uh, if it's a line, a point or a polygon. So for our example, we'll click on polygon. You just have to upload uh, the file you have just saved on your desktop there. Apply then the buffer zone. Click on this icon there and the link, uh, the camera link with your buffer zone will appear at the top of the page. Just click on it to download it to your desktop. You can there just uh, change the name of the file. Polygon buffer zone. Okay, put it on my desktop so it's gonna be easier for me to open it on Google Earth. And then you just have to go back to Google Earth and import uh, the file, the buffer zone file we have just uploaded. Okay, there you go. So, hey, raise your polygon with the 100 meters buffer zone uh, you have applied. We can change uh, the uh, style and the name, so let's call this buffer zone. Okay. I'll put the outlines in black. Uh, increase the width to 5 and the area I'm gonna put that in blue okay and 50% opacity okay then I can just untick uh, the layer with the original polygon and there you go you have created uh, a buffer zone based on, uh, on a polygon on Google Earth. So you can do this with uh, with uh, with uh, also lines and points. Uh, don't forget to use that website uh, for uh, applying the buffer zone. And uh, I hope that you like this uh, little presentation. And uh, see you soon. Bye bye.